Afternoon everyone. A while ago I made a video about inverters and mains fridges in camper vans and I'll put a link to that at the end somewhere or in the description. Well this inverter was the one that was in that video. This is a Kotec um, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter and like the Victron that I've got in my Sprinter it's not really up to run the mains fridge. It reacts to inrush current. The Victron makes horrible buzzing noise, it's the uh, toroidal transformer, but this one it works fine but it turns the fan on, the 12 volt fan there, just briefly every time the fridge kicks in. So I bought this, two pounds something or other on eBay. It's a delay timer, there's a little 555 timer chip about there, it's got a variable pot to adjust it and a relay. Dead easy to wire in, um, assuming the fan in the inverter 12 volts that is. Um, you just break into the wiring for the fan. The output from the relay feeds the fan. The input to the timer is the connection inside the inverter that would have originally gone to the fan. So you're just breaking the 12 volt supply to the fan, powering up this device and there is a link wire that I put from there, from 12 volts, to the common of the relay, up there. Then the ground wire is simply the ground wire that goes to the fan, and that's just um, connected in parallel with the existing ground wire. So the end result is you're just breaking the 12 volt feed to the fan, sticking it through this timer, and this timer then, I've set it to about three seconds, I think. This timer simply stops the fan coming on straight away. There's a couple of LEDs. There's a red LED there that shows when the thing's got power. and I, So I can actually test it, and I've been testing it to make sure that it does actually come on when if I overload the inverter. And then there's a green LED over here somewhere that shows when the actual circuit's turned on. But obviously not going to see that. And then I've got it cable tied to a little bit of mini trunk in, which I've stuck under there. And that fits into that little area there. And the whole thing just works fine. And that's got rid of the problem I was having with this particular inverter of the fan coming on for a split second each time the fridge switched on, which at night would have been damned annoying. Um, and it's going to be going, just see over there, there's the fridge in the crafter there, over there, completely with all its dents. Um, and the inverter will be going in the back of the crafter later on. But it's a job I've been thinking about doing for some time. And as I said, I'll put links in the description for the other video and a link for this little tiny circuit but it is so dead easy to install. Um, there's also a little speaker in here, um, one of these PCB, you can see a little black thing there, PCB mounted speaker, that's an alarm. I don't remember that going off, I know the one in the Victron one bleeps every every time as well or occasionally, um, but if that becomes annoying then I may even wire that into this circuit as well, if it shares a common ground or a common uh, 12 volts. Otherwise, I may even take it off because um, I don't want that bleeping. But for the time being, I've got control over this fan. It now, when I connect the fridge, I've actually tested it on the fridge, although I haven't got it wired up because like, it's a bit too, you know, a bit chaotic with cables everywhere. It's doing what I want it to do. Anyway, thanks for watching.